Hello students, let us see this question here. Uh, Q is placed inside an electric field. E vector is given here. The site of the cube is 0 0.5 meter and is placed in the field as so in the given figure. The charge inside the cube, it is asking. So see, the electric field is in the J direction. So the flux will come only due to the top and bottom surface, right? Uh, which is uh, right darkened here. So let us call this face as so I'm naming this face as 1 and this face as 2. If you'll observe here the f uh, right uh, at phase 2 the electric field is 0 because uh, at phase 2 the y coordinate is 0. So the electric field will be 0 at the phase 2. Okay so I can say here since uh, at every point of the phase 2 the y coordinate is 0 so the electric field will be 0. So since the electric field is 0 at the phase 2 so the flux passing through uh, the surface 2 will be 0. So I can say here the flux 2 will be 0. Now I talk about flux 1. <coughs> uh, due to the flux, if you will see here, uh, all the points of the surface 1 is having the y coordinate as 0 0.5 because uh, this side of the Q, because this length from here to here, this length is uh, 0 0.5 meter. So the all the points of the surface 1 is having the y coordinate as 0 0.5. So the electric field passing through the surface 1 will be 150 into y a square, y coordinate is 0 0.5, so that will be 0 0.5 a square. Okay. So this is the electric field here. Electric field into area will give you the flux here. So area is nothing but 0 0.5 a square. So this will be the flux 1. Uh, uh, for all other surfaces, the flux will be 0. Right, because the angle between electric field and the area vector will be 90 degrees. So for all other surfaces, the flux will be zero. So I can see from here, the total flux, that is F phi total is equal to phi one plus phi two, and that will be equal to uh, 150 into 0 0.5 raised to power four. So flux is equal, if I use the Gauss law here, so flux is equal to Q interior upon E naught. So I will say here the flux is given 150 into 0 0.5 raised to power 4 into epsilon naught. So epsilon naught value is 8.85 into 10 raised to power minus 12. Okay, and that is the Q interior. So if you'll solve this, then you will get 8.3 into 10 raised to power minus 11 coulomb. That is the Q interior. So this will be the answer. Okay. Okay, students, I hope you understood this question.